Despite the pandemic, restaurants and businesses keep popping up at Mid-City. And with concerts already scheduled for Huntsville's new amphitheater, crews are working fast. Our Kelly Kennedy has the latest on the Mid-City development. As Huntsville grows, so does Mid-City. Behind me, crews are building the Huntsville Amphitheater, one of the many new developments coming to Mid-City District. Right now, it's just piles of dirt, but developers say by next year, it'll go from this to this. It aspires to be a venue that's looked at like Red Rocks, like people would travel, they'd pilgrimage to go see not only their favorite band, but any band that's playing at a spot like this. You just got to see it. The amphitheater will be able to hold over 8,000 people. And because concerts are already planned for next summer, crews are working hard to finish the ramp connecting Research Park in Mid-City to help mitigate traffic. And it's actually going to enter the development on the south side right by the amphitheater. I would love for them to stick around so they don't feel like they have to rush to their car and they miss the whole end of a concert because they're afraid it's going to take them an hour and a half to get home. The pandemic has set the Mid-City development back. A lot of stuff like retail and, and uh, hospitality and hotels especially have been in, uh, delayed in, indefinitely. But developers aren't letting that slow them down too much. Wahlburgers, Kamado Ramen, and Kung Fu Tea have all recently opened in the district. And if you drive by right now, you'll see the walls to Trader Joe's already going up. Right now, you see the front of Mid City is the, are those um, large retailers like REI, Dave and Buster's, High Point, that, and Trader Joe's sitting at the front. And then once you go into the center of the district, things start getting more vertical with five and six story buildings. Developers say their focus now is on putting up more hotels, retail, and office space in the middle of Mid City. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.